Jeremy Lennon. All right, Roberto Benitez and Jose Navarro in the ring. These are flyweights. Benitez, 19 years of age. Navarro is 18 years of age. And you see the reach is about the same. Both southpaws. This is the third meeting between the two. Each boxer has won once against each other. Benitez defeated Navarro in the 2000 United States Championships. He's from Brooklyn, New York. Navarro hails from Los Angeles, California. He beat Benitez in the 1999 United States Challenge. Benitez likes to walk guys into that left hand. You watch him. He'll take a step back and try to walk you into that left counter. Nick Cemento is the referee. Navarro in the blue, one of 12 children. Three brothers, eight sisters. Two of his brothers, Ignacio and Carlos, box. Carlos boxes professionally. Navarro has that long left hand. For these guys, it's like looking in a mirror, Bob. Not only both southpaws, but styles very similar. Physical, physical stature very similar. Why are we guys? You see, they're off to a brisk start with a 2-2 score here in round one. Those two-minute rounds force you to throw a lot of punches. Not worrying about power too much. That's why you'll see a lot of these kids, when they turn pro, they become better punches. They settle down. Good. With amateurs, they don't worry. Yeah, good left hand landed by Benitez. You see Navarro with the 4-3 edge. Teddy, even though the body punches don't necessarily get registered as scoring blows, it still behooves a boxer to throw to the body because you do fatigue your opponent, correct? You can set up those scoring blows. Especially if you have a guy that likes to use his legs. Take him away a little. Fundamentals are fundamentals. Use them. Keep Benitez has the habit after he moves, he stop right in front. And that's when he's getting pot shot. See, he stops right in front. Right there, he stops in front, he gets hit. And those strong, singular jabs are the kind that really catches the judge's eyes. Benitez gets a little wide in there. There's that kind of left hand that he likes to use. He hasn't had a chance to use it this round until then. Excellent pace here in round one between Jose Navarro and Roberto Benitez. The work. A very brisk pace in our first round of the flyweight championship here at the United States Olympic Team Trials. Benitez and Navarro. Navarro with a 7-5 lead after one round. Benitez's only problem is when he's finished, he waits for the receipt, and he gets nailed the counter. Right there. Perfect example. Right there again. Throws a strong left hand, does Benitez. 11-6 now, Navarro. And you should never wait for the receipt, whether you're an amateur or a pro, but especially an amateur when you only got four two minute rounds. Those guys come right back banging. No. As soon as they block something, Bob, as soon as they get caught, they come right back. And if you're standing there, you're going to get hit. And a caution to Navarro for holding. Sometimes, quite honestly, the rules for two-minute rounds kind of make guys forget about defense. They think it's so much about scoring in those two-minute two windows. It's their fresher because you're fighting for two minutes and then you have a minute to rest. He just likes to use that left hand. Now, the scoring you see there, 12-6 Navarro. That is the official scoring. That is the official scoring right now. It's not Teddy's card or my card. That is the official scoring blows that have been registered. And Navarro has the edge, and it's connected all by the computer. So we're plugged into the judge's computer pad. Nice counter right hook by Navarro. He walked Benitez into that one. He was smart. He stepped back, let him right into it. 7-5 Navarro after one round. He is having a huge round two. Watch this Navarro, how he does more than just throw. He'll step back and he'll walk guys into traps. Come on, Spider, to be the spider. Bringing the beetle right in. There he goes. He steps back, creates distance, right there. An eight to one round so far for Navarro in the blue. And Navarro's getting away with that move, stepping back and creating distance and getting the counter off because he got an aggressive guy in front of him. Walks right in. To the big mountain competition. Skiers take the next step in free skiing down death defying 50 degree plus slopes on California's Mammoth Mountain. That's the Winter Gravity Games next on NBC.
Round three underway, flyweight, 112 pounds, Jose Navarro and Roberto Benitez. And so far, Navarro from Los Angeles, California, has been in control. He had a huge round number two in the computerized scoring, outscoring Benitez 8-2 to two in the second round. He had a 15-7 edge as we started the third round, the third of four rounds, four two-minute rounds in amateur boxing. Both guys real aggressive. They'll be similar to each other. The difference in the advantage, I believe, to Navarro has been a little slicker. Steps back, creates little traps, changes up a little bit. A little bit more versatile. Picks the spot pretty good there, too. Good left hand by Benitez. And Navarro came up in the middle. And a left cross by Benitez scored. You can't come up in the middle when you're in there with a guy as busy as Benitez. And Benitez battling his way right back into this fight. Charles problem is when he's in front, he's standing straight up. He needs to get a little smaller. He shouldn't wait to see the punches coming. He knows that Benitez is throwing. That's all Benitez does. Shots by Navarro trying to keep Benitez at bay. The 19-year-old Benitez from Brooklyn, New York, surging. A student at Northern Michigan University in Marquette, Michigan, under the fine program of Al Mitchell, who was the coach of the 1996 United States Olympic boxing team. Benitez really turning it on here in round three, and he's within one. That's the actual scoring. He was down 17-5 after two rounds. Navarro needs to punch inside those wide punches. Big round for Roberto Benitez. With one more to go. 19-year-old Roberto Benitez with a huge round number three. He outlanded Jose Navarro on the computer 10 to 3. It's 18-17 Navarro as we start the fourth and final round. Navarro needs to start punching inside some of those punches of Benitez. Catching Benitez right there when he gets into reach. Benitez did it the old-fashioned way, Bob. He just moved those hands. You can see the difference here in the styles. Navarro's looking to be more select. Benitez is just letting go. 20 to 18, Navarro with 123 left. See, there's a nice setup right there from Navarro. He took it of the aggression of Benitez. And the judges saw that. They saw the score change. Yeah, should change there, too. He just landed a left hand. Right hand on the inside from Benitez, and they go toe-to-toe -to -toe again. Well, he just has to make sure he doesn't stand up in the middle too long with Benitez. Go two or three and then move. You throw that one too many, you're going to get nailed by Benitez. He's a windmill. Has been real selective here, Bob. Really picking the spots nice. He's had a little bit more finesse this round. Hold up a real game. Benita's probably throwing more. But Navarro at the right time. That's the difference. Those little steps back, those counters. Benitez has 30 seconds to make up a four-point deficit. Make it five now as Navarro sticks and moves. Navarro's picking his spots pretty good. When Benitez comes in, he counters. When Benitez lays there, he gets off. And left hand by Benitez. He will need a frantic finish. You see the score, 26-21 Navarro. Navarro's taking advantage of what's given to him. See? He's, he's allowing Benitez to take all the chances. He's scoring. Excellent last round for Jose Navarro. His lead had been trimmed to one, 18-17 after three, but Jose Navarro holds off Roberto Benitez and has a 26-21 advantage on the points, and he will be the winner of the flyweight division. And Teddy would take a look at a brisk pace throughout this fight. Oh yeah, both these guys throw plenty of leather. Right here, you see Benitez is getting off, but Navarro is looking to counter. And that's been, that was the fight the whole way through. Navarro a little bit more selective. You see those wide punches of 
the needles. The valve punching right in between them. Nice job. Born in Los Angeles, Jose Navarro, impressive. Here, the state trial champion, at 112 pounds, from the blue corner, Jose Navarro. So in the third meeting between the two, each had won once in the previous meetings. It's Jose Navarro who wins. He is the United States Olympic Team Trials Champion for the year 2000, and he goes to the box offs in two weeks as the Trials Champion. Still a lot more to come, like Rocky Juarez from Houston, Texas. We'll be right back after these messages and a word from your local station. Listen, Fred Rogan, we move to the featherweight division, the finals, 125 pounds, Rocky Juarez and Steven Luovano. Let's take a look at the matchup between these two. Juarez has won the only meeting between these two. This will be the second time they'll square off. Juarez, the right-hander, and Luovano, the southpaw. Juarez, a year older at 19 years of age. Steven Luovano, born in Los Angeles, California, fighting out of La Puente, California, 18 years of age. And there is Rocky Juarez from Houston, Texas. He's 19 years of age, the reigning world champion. And the 1999 and year 2000 champion. Hello, Dolly. That's Stephen Luano's mom, Dolly, taking in the sights and rooting her son on to victory. And of course, Luvano, as you see, is a southpaw. And he'll be looking to do the boxing on the outside a little bit. He likes distance. And of course, Juarez will be doing what he's doing now, coming forward. He's more of a pro-style guy. And he loves inside to throw those uppercuts, which makes sense for an aggressive guy who's shorter and stronger. He loves to throw about that right hand to the body and then the right uppercut, like Roberto Duran did when he was a lightweight champ. Juarez in the blue initiated into boxing from his grandfather, Pedro, who was a boxer in Mexico. His grandfather taught him the basics about the sport. Rocky actually enjoyed baseball until his dad got him in the gym at around the age 13. Rocky is his actual given middle name. That's what he goes by. Not a nickname. Lovano, you can see, a little bit quicker hands. That means he should have distance. It helps you that speed. He wants to use that jab. Juarez is trying to figure a way in with the taller man. 